Hi, welcome to the XFX booth at CBIT 2012. Earlier this week you would have seen our review of the AMD Radeon HD 7870. Uh, the architecture has promised, but partner cards don't launch until later this month. So I've tracked down Sai from XFX, who's going to show one of the cards that are coming soon. Sai, this is your variation of the 7870. Indeed. Talk us through it. Yeah, well, thanks for uh, coming along, guys. I appreciate that. Coming to check out our brand new products that are available on the market. As you said, the uh, 7870 and 7850 are the latest products to be launched from AMD. However, this is our X of X launch, so we like to bring something more unique and really a better proposition to, to the game as our, our core customers in the market. Um, as you will see, uh, with our latest uh, product to be released now, um, we're using our, our patented uh, double dissipation technology, which basically just dictates that we're using dual fans on here. Um, what you can see from this as well, we're also brought in our ghost thermal technology. So you're probably wondering what ghost thermal is. Very, very simple. Um, what we've designed around the card is to really create the maximum airflow possible for the card. Why is that good? It means we can keep the card cooler and uh, the way we implement this technology is that we have something called a, a floating fan. So as you see here, you have this space around the, the whole edge of the card. Okay, and what you can see here from these screws here, the, uh, the cover itself is not attached to the PCB, but in a way it's uh, attached to this frame, so actually it's floating above the core components on the product. And this is good because it creates the maximum airflow. And you combine that with uh, quad heat pipes that are introduced on here as well. And with the, uh, the, two, the two fans, you really get the optimum cooling environment for, for the product as well. So, uh, Okay, so AMD said that the retail launch is going to be March 19th. Is this yes. card going to be available on day one? It will be. So from a hard launch aspect, which is really what it is, yeah, you know, there's been a launch of information, but product on the shelves is the 19th of March, and we will have product on shelves the 19th of March, available from all your major e-tailers, basically. Excellent. Okay, and what about frequencies? Judging by the look of this card, it's not going to be stock clocked, it's going to be overclocked. What kind of speeds are we going to see? Well, you know, that's a very good question because it's still under wraps on. I mean, honestly, the if you look at this product now, the remit is, okay, the, the stock frequency is, a th you know, one gigahertz on the on the core, on the GPU core. On the memory, you're looking at 4.8 uh, on gigahertz on the frequencies. Um, we have tested well in excess of one gigahertz on the core, I can tell you now, and above five gigahertz on the memory frequency. Um, I can't tell you the exact frequency because when it comes down to the Black Edition, it's always quite confidential right up until the last minute until. But you guys will get, you'll be one of the first to get the Black Edition to review and you'll see actually how awesome the, the speeds can be achieved on it. Okay, well, we look forward to that. Now, just a general question about graphics cards in general, uh, the 7000 series obviously targets enthusiasts. Yes. Um, what do you think personally matters most to the users? Is it overclocked cards? Is it the bundle? Is it how loud the card is? Is it the temperatures? Or is it just performance? What matters most? You know what? I, I wouldn't say any individual gamer has got you know, one key thing where you say this is the absolute remit of what he must need, right? So, what, what we try to do is really give the gamer all of the best features you know, in one bundle. So, for example, if you're uh, you're an overclocker, one of the important things is keeping your temperature lower, right? Um, what we've done with our cars is we have a very, uh, we have a specific thermal ramping. That means if the guy's overclocking, what that means is that the speed of the fans is actually the rotation will increase. Um, because you're using two fans, you, you still can keep the noise to the minimum because actually noise is also an issue for some guys. The guys that aren't maybe really going crazy overclock they don't like the noise so much. So what they want is a cooler card as well, but obviously but without the noise. So I think, you know, the way our products work with the thermal ramping, it can really benefit if you're a very keen overclocker or if you're not going to overclock, the way the thermal ramping will respond is that the fans won't spin so fast when they're not overclocking and there's not much heat there. So really we're, we're trying to meet all the needs and make it accessible to them out of the box. Okay, so I, and one last question for you. Um, you mentioned noise. It does matter a lot to certain users. Yes. When are we going to see a passive 7 Series card from XFX? Um, we're working on some passive cards, which is uh, um, downstream on the product sets, which is going to be on the probably the 7750. We're having a look at this one now. Um, honestly, if you, if you look at the product set, you know, 0.28 nanometer, the big benefit is the, the die size of the silicon is smaller. 
So the, the one benefit of having a smaller, a smaller chip is that you can be more creative in how you choose to call it. So definitely we've always had a target to create one passive product which is going to be good for you know, the home media centre user uh, or generally just a guy who doesn't need the, 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 the biggest performance but wants a completely silent car. So that's actually one of our, our goals that we're working on at the moment. Thanks very much, Ty. Okay, so obviously exciting times to be an AMD partner. That is the XFX 7870. We'll have a review of that in the very near future and keep an eye out for retail availability on March the 19th.